All right, today I'm going to show you how to give an airplane a new paint job. Something I just do every once in a while just for fun. And uh, I've taken an Airbus and I've turned it into a school bus because, you know, why not? Bus, bus, kind of funny. Anyway, we're going to use this picture of a school bus as our coloring and this picture of an Airbus as our Airbus. So, here we go. Basically, I don't really need much of this school bus. I just need the colors, the black and the yellow, and just the stripes in that kind of order. So first thing I'm going to do is get rid of a lot of the uh, stuff I don't need. And I'm going to make it just a big square with stripes on it. And obviously you could do this with, uh, you know, just randomly just make a big yellow square and put stripes on it, but that wouldn't be any fun. So I'm going to get rid of the mirrors and the bumper and the wheels. Maybe get rid of this back bumper. Yeah. I like the back bumper, we'll keep it, doesn't really matter. So, uh, there's a bunch of different ways you could do this. You could clone stamp the yellow, I don't know. But what I'm going to do today is use the rectangle tool a lot. So, uh, yeah, just going to draw a rectangle here up to the front of the bus. And it's selected. I start with my brush tool. Just B is the shortcut. See if I can find over here on the left. I never, never click on it over here unless I just hit B. But one of these, I think that's it. That's a history brush. Yeah, there's a brush up there. No, there's a brush. So uh, yeah, when you need a uh, a color, correct to uh, select a color, just click on the uh, color swatch down there. It gives you an eyedropper. Pick your color, and make my brush size bigger. It's the bracket keys on the Mac, right and left. Bigger and smaller, pretty handy. And uh, yeah, color it in. Let Command D deselect the uh, thing. And I'm going to fill it out the space pretty carefully. Same stuff. All right, next little trick with the rectangle tool here. Draw a rectangle. And then I'm going to go up to the Move tool. And I'm going to hold down Option. And I'm going to move this over the top of the window. When I hold down Option, it makes a copy and it kind of sets that. And I'm just going to expand it so we don't have any windows. Hit our check mark, hit Command D for deselect, and there we go. Next, yeah, just gonna get rid of the square B again for the brush tool. It's already set to the yellow I like. Yeah, that matches. Carefully go around that. And get rid of the school bus thing here. Now, like I said, you could actually do this way easier than this, but I'm just doing this kind of the hard way to show you that it can be done uh, using the different tools because this will apply to what we're about to do the airplane, so. Go get that done. And that uh, looks like I got a little bit of the wheel left there, so I'm gonna go over and uh, grab an eraser, the eraser tool, and just erase that. And yeah, there's probably a wheel from the other one too. Erase that too. There we go. Now go back and I'm gonna fill in these wheels. So same thing, rectangle tool. brush tool, paint away, pretty simple. Yeah, it's a little off, it's not bad though, won't be able to notice in the end. So uh, I'm actually going to uh, take the stop word out here to also notice how I change colors with the eyedropper. Uh, I'm just going to paint over the word stop so it's no longer there, just have a big red stop sign. All right. And last little bit of the thing we're gonna do there uh, to the bus here is extend these black lines all the way across. So same technique. It's gonna be the uh, rectangle tool to the move tool. Hold and just drag that out. And you check, command D deselects it, and there you go. And I'm gonna do this and I'm not gonna bore you with it anymore, but that's how you do it for the whole thing, and that's what you come up with at the end. So next. Here's our airplane. We're going to duplicate the layer. Call this airplane, I suppose. And the first thing I'm going to do is actually get rid of the Virgin America logo. I like it, but I want it gone for this tutorial. And I'm going to do that. Guess how? I'm going to use the rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle. Go to the move tool. Hold down option. 
Now I can make it a little bigger and rotate it around. And I'm basically going to just cover up the logo with this. And the words Virgin America. And I'm going to do a little, a little extra stuff to it at the end to make it look somewhat natural. Trying to get this the right angle here so it doesn't do too much. I don't want to cover up the emergency exit doors or windows there. And let's drag this out. There we go. Drag so we can cover the whole word. Okay, move this out a little bit, cover that up. back in. Get away from those uh, red texts, but just enough to cover most of the text. That looks pretty good, I think. Like that. Hit our check mark, Command D, deselects it. Of course, you can tell there's like a little layer there, and it's like a square, and um, got some text hanging down. So I'm going to get rid of that text on the bottom using the clone stamp. And the clone stamp, if you uh, select the wrong area, you're going to get light, and it's not going to look right, but to select your area, click uh, Option on the Mac, and then you know, click and hold to uh, use it. And I try and get a uh, just a place where the uh, pixels are kind of the same color, and then I'll use the healing brush to kind of blend everything together. It works kind of like the clone stamp, except for it seems to feather more. It looks good most of the time. Let's see, it does a pretty nice job on this. Here, the front of the airplane too. All right, cool. And next, I'm going to a clone stamp out the rest of the G here. Same thing, just option, or yeah, option, select the place, and we'll just kind of drag it along. Being careful not to paint over a window or anything. And I am now going to speed this up so you don't have to watch me do this because I know it's annoying. And just going through and after I clone stamp it, I'll use the healing brush to uh, you know, kind of blend it a little bit. Not real important in this one because it's going to be farther away and we're going to be putting stuff on top of it. But there's what you get. And, uh, the logo's gone. Alright, so now we're going to take the bus and we're going to use the move tool. Let's slide this over to the uh, picture of the airplane and let go, and there it is. First thing you're going to notice is it is backwards, so I'm going to have to flip it around. Just use the handles, drag it, pretty easy. And I'm just going to expand this, make it bigger, and put it over the top of the airplane and position it so the stripes are right and the stop sign's right, and they're in the places I want them. And lower the opacity, it makes it really easy to do this. So I'll just kind of mess with this a little bit until I'm happy. I don't want one stripe on the nose and one stripe just above the uh, cockpit windows there. And kind of equal distant from the, uh, the windows going back. Getting pretty close. Yeah, it's getting there. I think that's pretty good. Hit our check mark, and we're going to uh, turn this off for now, and we're going to start working on the airplane. So I'm going to use the uh, magnetic lasso to select the airplane. The magnetic lasso very rarely works for me, but in this case it does. I'm also going to speed this up so you don't have to watch me do it. And there, it turns into a selection once you close it, and hit mask. And I just masked the wrong layer. Hit Command Z to undo that. Go to the airplane layer, hit mask. And now we have a good mask around the airplane. Alright, and here we have our uh, 
fairly well masked out airplane. I'm gonna duplicate it and name it Mask 1. And now we're gonna get real precise with the mask. Uh, let's see, hit the select and mask up here. And everything that's red is the mask, and everything that's airplane is airplane, obviously. And zoom in a little bit here, you can see like in between the wheels, it's still got the background in it. And uh, if you select a brush here and hit plus, you can, you know, brush away and add some more background in. Or if you hit minus, you can, you know, add to the mask a little bit, subtract the background. So I'm going to subtract a lot of background in here. You kind of got to be careful doing this. I try to be pretty precise with this. But the results are good when, when you do it right. I'm just getting real close here, and I'm just going to speed this up because it takes quite a while to go around the airplane. But there we go. That's a pretty well masked airplane. And go to uh, new layer with layer mask. You can choose some other things, but that's what I'm going to use for today. Hit OK. And now we have a really well masked airplane. So let's call it good mask. All right, next up, we're going to add the color in. So here's our uh, color. We're going to take the mask we just drew, press Option, and we're going to drag it up on top of the, uh, the paint. And already it's pretty close, but you can see some obvious stuff like the wheels and you know, stuff I don't want to uh, have color over, you know, because they wouldn't paint wheels or something. So got to take care of that. And we'll do that by... Uh, Selecting our mask and uh, using a brush to uh, add in or subtract, you know, stuff we want or we don't want. I'll give you an idea here. The brush will have a black and a white. If you uh, turn it to white, you actually you know, same thing. You can uh, put more mask or put more color on. Black will subtract stuff around the wheels and around wherever you want to, you know, take the color off. Pretty handy. Like I want to do the engines and the wings and the tail. And obviously all the windows are going to need it. In fact, let's go over to uh, the tail and just do the tail. It's pretty obvious when I do the tail. Or should be pretty obvious, yeah. Yeah, it's taking error, and I actually see an error in the tail right now. Let's see how the tail got cut off right there. I'll go fix that in a minute. In the old days, I used to do this destructively and use an eraser tool, and something like that would have set me back about five steps, and I would have been really annoyed. But since we used a mask, it's really easy to fix. And I'll get to that in a second. As soon as I get this tail all done correctly, and just went a little too far down there. So let's uh, flip flop here, make our brush a little smaller, and color that back in. There we go. Same thing, I'm actually going to go down now to the, uh, the good mask <laughs> and uh, click on the mask part. And since we're already white, I'm just going to start brushing in where the tail should be because it should be there. And it is. There it is. Nice. And I may have gone a little too far, so uh, I'll correct it. I mean, this is like probably not that big of a deal, but might as well make, might as well try and get a little bit better. So I'm going to take out a little bit of that background around the tail. There, good enough. So now I'm going to go over and just start to. Uh, you know, taking away parts that I don't want colored. Like I like this flag on the wing, wing tip here on the winglet. So I'll do that. And, uh, you know, I'm basically not going to do any, show you any more of that because it just takes forever to do. But you know, make sure you do the windows and make sure you do the windows really good. It seems to add to it. So you got to go through each window and 
can't really get them good. And there you go. That will. Uh, that's what it looks like once you've masked and unmasked everything. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the color of this stop sign. It needs to be the color of the tail and the engines. So, uh, image replace color. You click on what you want to replace, and it will. Uh, hopefully select the uh, the right color. This is a pretty easy example to do that with. There we go, I like that. That's pretty decent. Alright, we're getting towards the end here. We take the opacity back down. I'm going to duplicate this layer. Turn it off for a second. And now we're going to opacity all the way up and I'm going to make this white. Just going to add something to it and to do that you go to image adjustments levels and take the bottom left slider all the way to the right. And you can see everywhere I cut out windows and stuff and I'm going to make this or blend mode saturation. Next I'm going to go to next layer make it all the way Opacity 100, and I'm going to use multiply for the color, or for the uh, blend mode. And I'm just going to bring down the fill just a little bit. We're pretty much done. Turn the background. And one of the things I do every once in a while, something like this one, just mess around, I'll use the auto tone, auto color, and auto contrast, just see if it helps. And in this case, it actually does, at least in my eyes. And then I'm going to use the background and do the same thing with the background layer. And there you go. That is how you make a fake paint job on an airplane using Photoshop. And I'm going to add this a little bit more color to it. All right. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, let me know what you think.